Oh, hello friends, Fujosevich here, and welcome back to some more Genie Priest as we get a very, very strange opening hand here. Coming up against a Paladin. Ooh, Murloc Paladin it is. So this is definitely going to be a game where we're going to try and utilize this early game cleric a little bit to get some draws off. And that's definitely not a move that I would do every time. But going up against Paladin, I know they're not going to have four attack until turn four. So we're going to get at least two turns of very nice draws off. This is completely fine. The only issue is obviously next turn we could be running into. So yeah, we're playing a more aggressive deck here, but that's fine. If they get if we get hit with a Murloc, oh. Right away. So we need to do this draw, basically. If they have a war leader in hand, I think we're gonna lose pretty hard. But uh, that's okay. If we don't, if they don't have it, then we're in real business. Oh, this is gonna be really, really bad for us. Unless if they go face, I think we're really okay though. Yeah, they couldn't afford it. Well, this is really bad for us now. Um and we can't do any Potion of Madness yet. So we're just going to go ahead and throw out the Acolyte of Pain. And that basically just guarantees us one more draw. And now things start getting really, really scary. We don't have any Power Word. Power Word, I mean Shadow Word Deaths. So unless we top deck Akanai into Circle in the next two turns, I think we lose for sure. It, it stopped... Three health. We could have actually done it this turn, to be honest with you. So the issue is with this taunt really stops us from being able to kill. From being able to kill there. But that's okay. We'll be able to take out the 4-1. Um, so now we actually have options. We could double this up to 14, but honestly, I think that's too much face damage. We lose anyways. Uh, and because of this, we're forced to do... Uh, yeah, we're going to steal the 1-1 for sure and charge in here. And I know we're drawing last, but I can't imagine I would have done anything else differently. No, that's fine. So now this is 9 damage, which my, our opponent's going to basically need to deal with. There's no way that our opponent can ignore losing their entire board. That's a card that I have not seen in a long, long time. And you know what? This is a really interesting showcase of how this genie deck just... I mean, look at this Murloc aggro paladin just absolutely destroy us, right? Like, there's nothing I can top deck now. Uh, 9, 12. <laughs> wow. That's pretty, pretty ridiculous. All right. And that's how the genie deck, genie priest deck can lose very, very quickly. And this is looking like another really bad hand here for us, which is unfortunate. That, uh, I feel like I've had a little bit of a stretch of some bad opening hands, which, with the very aggressive meta that I think we're still experiencing, is a little bit, a little bit punishing, uh, let's just say. Manatai, that's really bad for us. But we'll be able to deal with it. Eventually. Yeah, our opponent's gonna draw a lot off of this Manatai, to be honest with you. But I think we'll be able to draw enough off of our own. So I think we'll be okay right now. There's, there's enough top decks here that we can kind of be okay with our opponent building up their hand. If they're a really control shaman, I think we're really, really big trouble. Wow, that's going to be really bad. Now we kind of really need Akanai, right? I feel like the whole opening of this deck really is dependent on Akanai most games which is kind of an unfortunate thing because Akanai is really the Akanai is really the controlling mechanism that this deck has and then the combo is really the finish and then a bunch of those like cycle and talon priest type of cards are how we kind of survive the mid game but because everything is so specific I, I think it's just yeah I, I don't know I feel like this deck is kind of lacking something because the combo is too big I love it though, and I have, I've, yeah, this is definitely some of the most fun I have, playing funny decks like this, but I'm not sure if it's actually competitive, at least with the deck list that I have, and actually the only, 
The only difference that I do have up from the deck list that I'm showing right now is the fact that I... Oh my. Oh my. Okay. That's really bad for us. Well, you know what? All in all, we got a chance, right? Because that's three extra draws now. Draw me to nine. Top deck, ten. Or nine then into ten. Um, obviously, really good for our opponent. Still no Akanai. I swear they're in the deck. You wish to live forever. Um, I could put this. Go eight... And then this puts me at 9, and then I top deck 10, which is okay. And then the idea is after that, I'll just throw down an Emperor Thoris in. Well, depending what our opponent's done, it's not like we have any real way to, to combat this early flooding. Which is kind of interesting, the fact that the deck works like this. See, I'm not even sure what this deck... Oh, boy. We are in so much trouble. I honestly think this is still winnable, though. Just because we have been cycling reasonably... Like, uh, actually, no, I look actually, well, our opponent's also been drawing like crazy, which is okay. There we go, getting rid of one of their draws. Okay, so we've got the whole combo now. Minus, oh no, we're missing a Potion of Madness, which is fine. But we'll get everything discounted next turn. Yeah, we can confuse, so we can confuse, clear the board. So we've got the whole combo discounted. Double and then inner fire. So we can inner fire something else if we need it. And we're hanging on to the circle of healings basically for nothing. Maybe I should get rid of the healings or the Akanai's in place of wild pyros. Maybe that's going to be better. Because then we could have done like wild pyro turns to like help clear our opponent's board here. As opposed to getting locked up with some of these inner fires. So we have lots of like small cheap. Um... I guess that's an okay. Now you're forced attacking two and three, right? And then all you're going to have is two flame tongues out. Which, to be fair, is kind of scary. Like, there's lots of crazy stuff that Shaman can do. Just face tank the damage, because why not, right? Mm. Hindsight into Confuse saves a lot of... Actually doesn't save that much damage unless we get another pint size here. Hmm. We're going to need to hang on to the pint size. Would we have had lethal there? Would have been 10 plus 12. Oh, we would have been two off if we, if we had it. I feel like we're going to go like this. And we can't even draw anymore. So the crazy thing is we're just going to throw out one of these. Actually, wait. How cheap is the combo right now? I wonder if it's worth just destroying three of these cards right now. Or if we're going to need Pine Size Potion later. Like, what are the chances we don't... So what we're weighing right now is whether or not we think we're going to survive by not destroying these three cards versus how badly are we going to need pint size potion later in order to activate our combo um i'm just i'm more worried about dying yeah uh, i don't know how i feel about that to be honest maybe i should have done this afterwards and left it but oh well If we'd had our Akanai's, I think this would have been a different game. But, oh well. I mean, that's the way this th that's the way this deck really, really goes, to be honest. This deck is so... So dependent on its combos, the way I have it set up. And I don't think other people have the Akanai Circle combo. I think maybe when they have Circle, then they just have Wild Pyros to help with the drawing, both between Acolyte and then also with Northshire. So now we're in, well, we're still looking to top deck Akanai. Doomsayer obviously does nothing for us. Could Doomsayer, Doomsayer inner fire? 
Hmm, I need to look into I need to look into some other people that uh, I need to look and see what other how other people are teching. Oh, he understands what we're doing. He understands we're not going to be able to win now. Can I afford to not play a minion right now? I think the second I play this, I'm gonna never be able to... This is no place for mortals. I'll never be able to get through the combo now. Cause like, this is just gonna get hexed right off. And then there's gonna be no way for us to really come back at that point. Hmm. Interesting. We had a whole lot of early success with this deck. Yeah, and just lightning bolt it off. Yeah, never and you save your save your 5-2. Need that 5-2 to win later. Yeah, we never get through the 5-2 now. We have no way of dealing damage. See, if this sort of combo deck I think ran with a with a priest or not a priest, with a mage deck where they're able to at least like ping things down slowly, I think this deck would be very very viable then you could like tech in one flame strike to help with turns like this to help clear everything out but right now i mean i don't see how we're hmm is this gonna be my last genie priest game i've had too many fun ones though i can't stop i'm gonna have to refine the list a little i think i think there's something going on here that i'm uh that i've been struggling with that i need to need to understand a little bit better i think to try and see what this deck has really been doing and why I've been struggling so much with it. Hawkeye Circle still clears the board for us. I mean, it puts us at almost next to no health at this point, but. Yeah, well, that's, that's fine. Yeah, this is very interesting. Okay, so this is gonna be the last Genie Priest game that I play, at least. It might be, I might, who knows, I might still post another another game sometime soon but but for me at least this is going to be the last one that we do here for a while just because uh sure we've been having a lot of fun with it but i feel like there's definitely something that we're missing here and we're going to go ahead and take a little bit of a look and see what that is if you're enjoying some of these more fun types of hearthstone videos though feel free to hit that big subscribe button below and i'll see you next time